I first met Tom in 1969 when I interviewed for a job in Stanford. And he, along with Tom Kylath and Marty Hellman, made the place an absolute paradise for a new information theorist, newly minted, when I went there. But when I went there, I really had no clue who he was, other than the fact that he had been a roommate at one time with my dissertation supervisor, Bob Schultz. Well, I later found out from Bob Schultz that they had roomed together when they were both students of Norm Abramson, but this was during the time they were in LA. Bob was working, pardon me, Bob was working at Hughes and Tom was working at Rand. But Bob almost never saw Tom because virtually every evening except Friday, he was in Gardena at the gambling clubs. <laughs> On Friday, he played in private poker games with the other people at Rand. And Bob learned the details from Irv Reed, who explained to Bob that Irv and Tom had been the big winners quite regularly. And then Bob heard from virtually every other player in that Rand group that he knew that they and Tom had in fact been the big winners. <laughs> so the moral from this, I guess, is that Tom was the gold standard of Rand poker. I knew him probably best in the 70s and 80s and mostly social rather than technical. We only wrote one paper together, and that was a memorial for Andrei Kolmogorov. But I will always associate him with what was probably the most entertaining evening and certainly the best dinner I ever had in Luca Carton, a then two-star restaurant in Paris, with Tom and my wife, Lolly. We had a spectacular dinner. He ordered and paid for the wine in celebration of our marriage. And I do not remember a more entertaining evening past that. And I guess my story contribution I got from Terry Wagner, who was a statistician who visited Stanford for a sabbatical in the 1970s. And he had heard of Tom's great prowess in poker and asked Tom to teach him how to do it. So Tom took him under his wing, taught him the theory, taught him the strategy, and Terry went out with all of this new knowledge to the nearby poker clubs and promptly lost his shirt. <laughs> he went back and confronted Tom, and Tom explained, well, in that case, he would demonstrate. So he took Terry. He also took two friends, gorgeous young females in extremely attractive dress, to play at either side of him. And women were not then welcome in poker clubs, but it was clear in those days that they could not legally exclude them. So they thoroughly annoyed and distracted all of the competition, and Tom cleaned up. <laughs> now, I'm not going to draw any great conclusion from this, but I will observe that it reminds me of Oscar Wilde's self-description, that he only put his talent into his work he put his genius into his life, and Tom's life was a masterpiece. Thank you.